it up. So if you guys remember from Algebra 2, in Algebra 2, you guys focused on all these quadrants. And you look at this, say, Ms. McLogan, but you're just asking us to do the first quadrant. What about the rest of the stuff, right? If you guys remember, you guys did like the plate or whatever. Maybe you guys seen it or maybe you've downloaded it. I don't know. But the unit circle, to try to memorize the unit circle to me is a complete waste of time. There's too much information to memorize. And yes, can you memorize it? Sure, but guess what's going to happen? You're eventually going to forget it, right? You're not making any understanding of it. And then again, who wants to, bait, who wants to like rely on under memorizing something when it comes to a test? You have 30, 40 questions to do, right? You want to like try to recall memorization of the unit circle in addition to everything else you're supposed to know? It's not worth your time. So let's do another circle. And let's make sense of this unit circle with our special right triangles. That one's not as good. But hopefully this will still work, OK? So here's our triangle. Let's do this 30, 60, 90 again. But I'm going to again use my pi over 6. So here's my angle, pi over 6. Does anybody know what the reference angle is for this triangle, pi over 6, the reference angle of that angle? What? Pi over 6, guys. Angle in the first quadrant is always the same as its reference angle. OK? So what about this angle? Um, what about 5 pi over 6? What is the reference angle over there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh, interesting. All right, let's do another one. Let's try to trip you guys up. What about 7 pi? over 6. Anybody know what that reference angle is? Pi over 6. Again, it's the difference here. All right. Now I, I think I got one for you guys. What about 11 pi over 6? Dang it. You guys are good. So what I want you guys to know is take, take into consideration two things. First of all, these all have the same reference angle, right? All the same reference angle. And they kind of look like our notes that we did last class period. Right? If you kind of drew triangles here, they're kind of like just triangles, but like symmetry, right? This triangle is reflected about the y-axis. This one is a y or in the x, so that's like the origin. This one's just being reflected about the x-axis, right? So this is important. Very, very, very important. This is the most important thing because you don't need to know all the points on the unit circle. Huh? Sorry. You don't need to know all the points on the unit circle. The only thing I'm asking you guys to know is this first quadrant. So what is the coordinate point here on this first quadrant? For pi over 6, which is really our, like, our reference angle, what is this? What is this? Square root of 3 over 2, because you need to know that for your test. There's not really anything we can do to get around that. You've got to know that point. You've got to know all these points in the first quadrant. But once you know these points in the first quadrant, look what happens for the other points. If I need to figure out this one, they have the same reference angle. It's the exact same coordinate point, guys. It's just reflected about the y-axis. So since it's in the second quadrant, what has to be negative? The x values. So negative square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half. What about when I take this point reflected about the x and reflected about the y? It's now in the third quadrant. So now they're both negative. And then, over, and then this last one is just going to be the y. So therefore, this is neg or square root of 3 over 2, comma, negative 1 half. So what's important about this, guys, what I want to like bring here is look at this. If I ask you to find the cosine of pi over 6, that's equal to square root of 3 over 2. The cosine of 5 pi over 6 is equal to negative square root of 3 over 2. The cosine of 7 pi over 6 is equal to negative square root of 3 over 2. And the cosine of 11 pi over 6 is equal to square root of 3 over 2. All three of these angles have the same <laughs> reference angle. So what's important is once you guys can identify the reference angle, you know basically what the coordinate point is. right? They all have the same reference angle. That means they all have the same coordinate point. The only difference is each one of these angles lie in a different quadrant. Based on the quadrant that they lie on, that determines the positive and negative nature of their value. 
Does that make sense? Yes? So that's basically what we're going to be doing. You guys can see there's some notes that I wrote up there on the board. Um, 